Finally, translation. Let's look at this in a little bit more detail. So this is happening at the ribosome. Uh, the, the mRNA comes over to a ribosome and attaches to it. And in fact, more than one ribosome can attach to the same mRNA strand. So if you just look at this picture, check out how many ribosomes there are. The mRNA is shown in red, it's that wiggly red line, and each of these little blobs is a ribosome. So all of these ribosomes, they can all slide along in the same direction, and they can be synthesizing um, amino acid chains as they go. So lots of proteins can be formed from just one mRNA molecule. Again, codon, uh, this word refers to a set of three nucleotides in the mRNA. Each codon encodes for an amino acid, and there are charts that would allow you to interpret um, a codon and its corresponding amino acid. They, are, they always correspond to each other in this way. I'd like to show you a picture of the rough ER, a schematic of the rough ER. So remember the rough ER has ribosomes embedded in it. And when an mRNA strand goes over to those ribosomes on the rough ER, something very interesting happens. As the mRNA slides through the ribosomes, the ribosomes start attaching amino acids together like normal. However, look at how that amino acid chain is routed. And it actually gets sent into, um, into the endoplasmic reticulum. And this is very handy. This is uh, sort of like making the protein in a location where it can then be modified. So um, remember some of, the, some of the proteins that we need in the plasma membrane, they have to have modifications like having carbohydrates attached to them. And in order to do that, you have to have the proteins in a controlled environment. This is that controlled environment. The rough ER is where carbohydrates can be added to proteins to form glycoproteins. And then once uh, those carbohydrates are added, the rough endoplasmic reticulum can send a group of these proteins off to the Golgi, and the Golgi can ship them off to the plasma membrane. So very, a, a lot of coordination takes place in cells in order to get the molecules uh, produced and then to get them where they need to go in the end. Finally, our last note regarding cells, a reminder about cells, is that they can degrade things as needed. So sometimes there will be proteins that have been working for a while and maybe they've experienced some damage, so they're not quite working correctly anymore. What the cell can do in that case is target that protein for degradation. And the way that cells do this is by attaching a molecule called ubiquitin. If ubiquitin is added to something, um, attached to something, then what will happen is a lysosome recognizes that. A lysosome will come over and engulf and, and digest that molecule that was tagged with ubiquitin. So proteins can be degraded in this way. And this is really important, not just for, um, not just for sort of maintaining the cell in terms of getting rid of old things that don't work anymore, but also this is very important for being able to control the cell cycle, which we're gonna take a look at next.